I was wondering if the panel might comment on what the workforce employment issues were for sharing services and the employee relations issues, and particularly whether they were seen as challenges um, setting up shared services at the, the more micro level between uh, one or two or three institutions rather than the, the national um, shared service approaches. Uh, yes, uh, clearly they are. And you have um, some current cases where institutions are engaged in complex legal battles about transfer of undertakings, where they've tried to uh, institute a shared service where the employees are being transferred from the constituent organisations into a new organisation, sometimes on somewhat disadvantageous, disadvantageous conditions of service. Uh, I, I could lecture for about three hours on, on TUPI and the employee relations mm -hmm. issues, and, but there's plenty of guidance online on that. And I think it's something which is one of the resources we should look at having as part of the Efficiency Exchange website. But the HR aspects are perhaps the biggest area of challenge. You, even, even starting from the systems design that, that, that you st that's the starting point for the efficiency. Um, there's terrific potential to go for things like manager self-service and employee self-service, but even that brings training issues and, and learning development issues. Uh, one of my colleagues in a previous university called the manager self-service system feeding the beast. Because every time one of our staff wanted to take a holiday, we as relatively well-paid uh, heads of department would be keying in data into the system. The HR department had, had saved tremendously on the cost of that. They simply shipped the cost out to a different part of the institution. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called squeezing the balloon. You just move the cost from one part of the mm -hmm. university to another. That's not saving money at all. Um, so you have training in new systems. You have uh, potential for restructuring. In reality, share, moving to shared services is the opportunity to fundamentally rethink the way an organisation works. Mm -hmm. in, in many institutions, there are terrific comfort zones, terrific complacency, and terrific opportunity for cost saving. And it, it's, it is a, a great displacement to actually move away from some of those things, but the opportunities are there. I come back to my Ministry of Defence example again. I think under a, a less benign funding regime, the kind of challenges the sector is now facing, and some institutions are facing much greater challenges than others, mean that cost saving is forcing the hand. Mm -hmm. uh, what would worry me is if institutions fall, follow down the shared services route simply because they have to, or it seems like a good idea. I think what UK universities have is a unique take and a unique voice on shared services, and many successful examples, and it would concern me greatly if they're simply trying to copy commercial organisations and going down the transactional route and saving money that way. Tim? Yeah, just one of the other HR aspects, which is quite important and people can often miss in the fog of change, is that uh, colleagues at Middlesex University will tell you about this, who've done quite a lot, where they've taken services away from being done in-house to taking up shared services. And that you can't just assume, even if you're not going to make any changes to the headcount internally, you can't assume that the same people have the same competences to deal with the shared service that's being provided to you as opposed to the service you ran in-house, i.e. the people who were doing the jobs in-house before do not necessarily have the competences and skills to become account managers for, on behalf of the institution to the shared service. They are different skills, and you may people give you varying percentages, but it's probably less than 50% of the people that can actually change to, to take on that new role of instead of doing it yourself to be the account manager uh, holding the service provider or the shared service provider to account. And that's a fairly fundamental thing. Andrew? One of the biggest issues we've found with um, some of our client organisations we work with as case studies is the talent management issue. So an organisation might uh, locate its finance function together in, a, in another location. Having done that, they also go for restructuring, whether from a much flatter organisation, wider spans of control. But what that, that can then do is create promotions bottlenecks. So you're actually uh, removing some of the career structures that existed previously. So that people uh, who want to progress in the organisation find limited opportunity to do so. So they match it, match and move out to another organisation. And other organisations will uh, look to poach your staff. If you go to the Marks and Spencers Finance Shared Service Centre in, in Manchester, another organisation is located across the street and from time to time 
they'll put big posters in their window which say it's hiring now. <laughs> and uh, the staff seem to look up from their desk and think, hmm, yeah, okay, I think I'll pop over. Take a hike. Mm -hmm. yeah.